Hey everyone, I'm Mike from the Companion Development Team, and I'd like to take you on a quick tour of the Value Stream Maps in Companion. As many of you know, Value Stream Maps lets you examine the flow of information and materials through the Value Stream. These maps show all the value added and non value added work needed to create products or services that meet customer needs. Using a value stream map to evaluate your workflow is actually a four part process. First, you create a current state map of your process as it is today. This helps you to identify, reduce, or eliminate any of these seven wastes. Addressing the waste in your process helps you create an improved future state map. Finally, as you implement your future state map, it becomes your current state map and the process starts all over again as you cycle through your continuous improvement efforts. Now, let's take a look at creating this value stream map for the finishing department of a furniture manufacturer. Just a quick tip here, you could consider creating a detailed process map before you create a value stream map. Doing that first may help you better identify the value stream. Next, I want to add a four process value stream map template to the improve phase of this DMAIC project. The value stream map and companion is made up of these sections. The multiple steps in the complete value stream of the product. The timeline and summary box that contain the values that companion generates as you fill in values for the process and inventory shapes. The customer demand box, which generates the tack time of the process. And finally, the task pane, where you can enter and modify values for the map. Let's start in the task pane to enter values for this map. Here's the scenario. The furniture manufacturer runs three eight-hour shifts. Each shift has a 30-minute break for lunch and two 10-minute breaks for a total of 50 minutes each, which leaves 21 and a half hours of work time per day. The customer demand is for 75 pieces a day. A quick look in the customer demand box shows that the manufacturer needs to produce one complete piece every 0.28 hours or about every 17 minutes. Now I'm going to make some changes to this map based on the process map I created earlier, then I'll be back for the next step. As you can see, that although I made changes to some of the material and information flows, there's no data yet on these shapes or in the timeline. So I'm going to do that by clicking this process shape and in the task pane, enter the cycle time. When I do that, the data appears next to the shape and on the timeline. Total cycle time above the line, value added cycle time below. You'll notice the timeline summary box begins to fill in at the same time. I'll finish entering the data and then I'll be right back. This completed map represents a current state map of the process. The next step is to identify areas where improvements can be made, and that's represented by these Kaizen bursts. By creating a future state map, you can see the improvements from the changes that were made. Value stream maps are important tools in your toolbox. They make it easy to focus your attention on the key improvement opportunities that make your value streams lean. For more information and videos on Companion, go to www.minitab.com.